So I was trying to tell you guys about this man. Here, this was, what is this? It was the butter fork. This man that I've been following and he's, he's pretty good guys. Um, it's about your health, what you choose to put in your body, um, how there are all these misconceptions, even all the way down to the sugar and the breath and raising your right, blood sugar and all this kind of stuff. And it makes sense. So I ate something the other day and after I ate it, I got so tired. Oh, Bobby and I did a video and we both got so tired. Oh, maybe it was a fries. You think so? I don't know. But after I ate it, Is it weird? I was tired. I, I had to t lie down. And so I'm wondering if, you know, you spiking your blood sugar, if that had something to do with it. I don't know. But the guy is so interesting and he's blunt and to the point. So like even me eating this bagel. But I'm going to try my best to be a little more proactive of what I put in my body. You know, not that I'm, you know, trying to lose weight and stuff. It's all about how it makes me feel when I eat certain things. Does that make sense? So we'll see. Just trying to be more conscious, more aware going into the new year. All you can do is try. Whether or not I succeed, who knows, child. They put some pepper. Putting some pepper on there. Probably won't do salt because the sausage, they're spicy. The spicy Jimmy Dean sausage. And I use cream cheese instead of butter. Six mm, chicken. Huh? Mm. Six tablespoons of good sugar. She's falling apart. Ooh, let me get a bite of that. She's falling apart. Can I just put them in there, Bobby? Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is that whoever I get married to better not think that I'm going to be a housewife. Because I don't belong in the kitchen. You said you don't belong in the kitchen? Whoever you get married to, I mean, I'll you guys can learn to cook together. Yeah, like it's not gonna be some like chef something stuff. So. I think in all of my relationships, I was the main, the main cook. Although the kids' dad could cook, but that was always a project. You eat my sandwich too, bro. Everybody in my sandwich. My messy sandwich. She messy. Fell all apart. part. Um, my ginger. Uh, my juicer is in storage. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got time for that. So, I had the girls watch The Color Purple last night because we are oh, going shoot. to. What'd what? you think of the movie? Wait, I'm, I'm here about time to go to the movie, man. Oh, what time is it? It's 1 30. Oh, we go to the um movie to see Color Purple. So, I want the girls to see the original Color Purple. Maybe I should just make my own. What? That's why you got eggs for them. She's looking at me. No, mouth. but I don't really. Well, I guess it's lunch. Okay. This is my last time eating dairy. Well, maybe after today. Oh, uh, we can't go to the movies. Is it going to bother your stomach? I'm, Just eat it dry. No, it's fine. That's so boring. We're going to see the color purple and then hopefully go take some photos. Oh, does that mean we have to dress up for this? Because I was waiting on learning. <laughs> 
Like, I'm not going to sit through a three-hour movie with jeans on, personally. I can't do that. I said you had to dress up. Then what do I need to wear? Mm -hmm. It would have been cute if we had matching something. I know. We always used to do Christmas pants. We did? Yeah. Boy, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? I just got out of the shower, bro. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry yeah, Christmas. I definitely want to see my braids, too. What are you doing today? <laughs> That's Clinton, y'all. You say hi to the people. Yes, I did. <laughs> so they want they want an update on your life, Clinton. Oh, you showing your hairy chest, Clinton? Don't be showing your hairy chest. You're gonna get my channel shut down. <laughs> Show your hairy chest like that, bro. Oh no, my no, God. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I just been in Boulder, Colorado. Like I said, I was gonna go and. Nobody really thought I was gonna go here, but I just up and left. Well, when you say you're gonna do something, you do it. Yeah, I I have to go to get a change of scenery and just to get out of Texas for a year. Clay, don't be showing your hairy chest. You know my channel about to blow up. You do that, bro. <laughs> that channel about to blow up. Come on, bring bring show us a shoulder. Give us a little shoulder. I will say, Colorado is very dry, and my nose has been bleeding every day. That means you need a humidifier. You need no, something in your... No. Okay, so you don't listen to nothing I say anyway, so what did I say? No, it's not so much a humidifier, it's like, it's a... Uh, like, I need to put, like, Vaseline on this cut in my nose. Oh. Yeah. And if we, we have a humidifier. Like, I, I have one in my room, too. Oh, okay. And, and I have a space here, but I don't, like, if I, like, on my way home, and then as soon as I get here, it's just so, like, hot, and, like, like the moisture content is, like, obviously a lot higher in the house, so, like, my nose will just start bleeding immediately. Uh, you still showing your hairy chest? No, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not even going outside which is I mean it's pretty normal to be honest is there, snow? is there snow but you're not working no. today no they want to know do you have a girlfriend no <laughs> no bro. no bro. no no I ain't got no girlfriend, bro. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't have no girlfriend. Who did your hair? Ah, uh, what's it called? This girl Sophie did my hair. Oh. She, she's been braiding my hair for a little bit now. Why did you decide to move to braids? Boy, it's... What's the temperature outside? I think it's like 16 degrees. Oh my goodness. He's at 16? Yeah. It's, well, right now it's 20 degrees, so... Mom, you know, like, every single time I leave the house, I have to do my hair, and it's got to be wet. Oh, yeah, that's true. Soon as I walk out the door, it's frozen. <laughs> and then whenever, whenever it thaws out, like, my hair is, like, really frizzy, and, like, it just, like, it messes up the structure of my curls. So, like, I, I just won't do it. Yeah. So I just started getting my hair braided, and I haven't stopped getting it braided since. Mm -hmm. Keep on the good job. My boy, let me tell you, bro, these braids hurt so bad. Well, you've always been tender headed. Nah, like, the other, no, all my other braids never, like, really hurt that bad, but these, like, hurt so bad. Like, I time. was about to start crying. I was like, this is terrible. Imagine how we go for it, boy. Mm hmm. It was so bad. I was like, oh my goodness. Like, because, like, it was just this, because she, like, crisp, 
Like you can see how they're like crossed. How do I get to do this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Sydney, like the beginning, like starting it. right yeah. here. Oh my god, bro. Mm-hmm. It was. She it was. was, she was catching. She was. This, this a white girl doing your hair? Yeah. She been catching your memories and your past experiences, gripping all that hair. She gripped your baby hair. Yes, and she be like, she's like, oh my gosh, like I hate these like baby hairs, and like she be like braiding them. I'm like, it hurts so bad. <laughs> it hurts so bad, but it's worth it. Otherwise, I would have to cut my hair all off. Yeah, you could do a little like buzz. No, he looks good with his long. I like him with his long hair. Yeah, no, I don't want to cut. That was the thing, right? I was like, I'm going to have to cut my hair or it's going to have to go in braids. And it's not long enough to put in a ponytail. So I was like, I was like, it's got to get braided. Like, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. So she was like, she was like, yeah, like I can braid hair. And I was like, really? And her ex-boyfriend, she's, he used to play for Alabama. He plays for the Denver Broncos now. But he braided I mean, she braided his hair all the time. So. Oh, okay. So, I trust her to braid my hair. Yeah, she does a good job. <laughs> and there was like two or three other girls who offered to braid my hair, but I don't know if I trust them enough to braid my hair as much as I do Sophie, so. so. Yeah. Oh, boy. Bro, I tried to make that sweet potato pie, and I... I messed it up, bro. Where you going? Nowhere. It's cold in here, bro. Y'all have heat in the apartment? No, we do, but like, I don't want to blast the heat, though. Oh, you don't want to? You don't want that electric bill being hot? Yeah, there's no like, there's no reason for that, and like, it's easier to heat up than it is to cool down. So now he paying for the electric bill, so you know. Mm Mm-hmm. You you know what I'm saying, right? Who the girls are wearing their little slippies, slippy socks. Boy, that's sweet potato pie, bro. I tried to remake it and I, it didn't turn out right. What was wrong with it? Like it just didn't like. Oh, turn that out. Did you add flour? Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. The sweet potatoes probably weren't ripe enough. Right? Nah, they were, bro. No, that would only affect the. Oh really? What's the first? Uh, this is the one in New York. New York. Right outside of Times Square. Have you heard of Air One? Of course, I heard of Air One. What is Air One? Air One. Air One. It's in California. It's like the most. Wait, is that where they do like the Haley Bieber movie and it's like five hundred? Air One isn't like. They don't even like compare, like, they don't even do anywhere near the amount of sales. So, what is the population like out in Colorado? I mean, is it like heavily populated? Like, a lot of people want to be in cold weather? Um, but not all of you them. know, it's oh. not really that cold here. Like, like of course, it's cold and it snows and stuff, but like, what you don't understand is we get 368 days of sunlight and we're two miles closer to the sun than. You guys are so the sun is different out here. The sun is what? It hits different. Oh. Mm-hmm. It hit different. So like it's it's only degrees outside, but it is so sunny, like I can just walk outside and nothing right now. Like, I have Especially with the snow, it like will reflect off of the snow. Oh, it make it bright. Like, it's yeah. really not that cold. Yeah, like when a lot of people go skiing, they don't wear like a ton of layers and stuff. I mean, it's cool. Oh, Jane, Bobby, but, like, the sun, like, it, it helps a lot. Mini sweet potato pie. How is it? Can I get it? Hmm? I like my cold, bro. Me too. That's why I'm. It's good, but. Uh, nighttime, boy. I don't like my sweet potato pie cold. It's pretty bad. What's pretty bad? I said at nighttime is pretty bad, bro. How far is it? Uh, it's like nine miles. 
How far? Point nine miles. Oh, point. Nine. I was like, that's not bad at all. And what you don't understand is Boulder is like one of the most walkable cities in America. Mm, oh, really? Yeah. Uh, more so than New York? No. Uh, actually, it's just about the same, yeah. If not better. New York is built on sidewalks, bro. Like, huh? Nothing but sidewalks in New York. There's what in New York? Nothing but sidewalks. Yeah, that's how it is here. Okay, do they have a train system? Uh, no, they got a bus system, and then the train is, uh, it's like right outside of Boulder. So you can't take a bus? I mean, I can't take a bus. I don't need to take a bus. I feel like, I think there's a train that runs through Colorado that I want to get on. Yeah, no, there is. It's like really there's trainy. Train that runs through Colorado. I take the train from the airport back to Boulder. It's like really pretty. Oh, you're talking about the one that goes through Rison. I don't know. I don't think it's so nice. I don't think it's the highway that goes hmm? through Rison. I don't think it's so It's like the most dangerous road in America. It's so scary. You said what? I said I-70 is like one of the most dangerous roads in America. Oh. Especially during the months of January and February. Because those are the coldest months and it snows so much. Oh, they probably get black ice too. Yeah, this is like in the mountains. So like you're driving in the mountains. And like, it's so scary. Like, I don't even really like going up there during the summer. It's a really pretty drive though, but it's like you crash during the wintertime, you're gonna die. 100% you're gonna die. Where'd you go? Like 1 billion percent, you go up the mountain and you crash it out. Mm -mm. We're going to go see Color Purple. What is that? Oh lord. The Color Purple is the rite of passage. The what? The right passage? It's a right of passage in life. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a movie. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's a movie. The original movie came out in 1985. Boy, I wasn't alive. It was filmed in the 1930s. Mm-mm. The setting, the setting was in the early 1900s, and then it went through the 1930s through the Great Depression, which that wasn't part of the movie, but that was an era that I've always found fascinating. Mm -hmm. You missed the end. I was crying. Did you cry? I needed tissue at the end. I'm like so. What are you doing today, Clem? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold this. What? So I want some of this food to the pie, bro. What are you doing today, Clinton? Nothing. <laughs> Got to do a um, a gift exchange? No. Ain't nobody here. What do you mean? Everybody's at the town. Let's take a family picture. Uh, uh, my mouth is full. How do you think it's going to be pictures? Like this? Clint just got to get in the frame. Who's going to take the picture? The video. Hey, everybody's going. Hmm. There's on there, too. Oh, so we're taking a family picture of Clinton. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Did you screenshot on my phone? We took it there, Sumi. But then I have She's to go through. She's got a screenshot there. What, when I go through the video? Yeah. But you can't see him now. Hey. All right, boy. Hey, no All right, boy. Yeah, we're going to enjoy the sweet potato pie. I don't know what you did wrong. Bro, I don't know what I did wrong either. I was so pissed off. I was like, what is wrong with this? I had like, okay, so the first, because I made it three what? different 
times because I because I messed it up three different times. Did so you use all purpose time, flour? Yeah, the first time I didn't add enough sugar. Oh yeah, you so gotta add sugar. Damn it. And I, that was for Thanksgiving. So then I had made I made apple pie too, so I made Oh, you made those apple pies from scratch? Yeah. They didn't have apple pie. Again? They didn't have apple pies you could you could have purchased at work? Of course they do, but I wanted to make it from scratch. Who's Adrian? Adrian? My aunt's best friend. Oh, that's what oh that's sitting for. Going for black hair in the feeding tube. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I wanted to make it I wanted to make it myself, so I made the apple pie. That turned out great. The apple pie was very good. Mm -hmm. It was very, very good. So then I had made this, like, this granola and, like, dried cherry and dried raisin, like, uh, caramelized crumble. And then I had, like, put it over the top of the sweet potato pie with, like, this vanilla bean, with, like, this vanilla bean sweet cream. And that made it really, really, really good, and it like added no. more sugar, so it saved me. But still, the sweet potato pie didn't taste like yours. Oh, uh, it made me dizzy. I don't know was what I did it? wrong. Was it too watery? All right, when we get back from that movie, Bob. No, okay, okay, so I made it made another time, and then it was like like a lot. It was like almost just right, but it well, settled. I, I added too much flour. Yeah. I was like, this is why I don't bake. And then I Boy, what the? Okay, brother, we gotta go. <laughs> yeah, guys, that is there. Okay, bye. Merry Christmas. We love you. Alrighty. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> love you, guys. Love you, too. too. <laughs> yeah.